This is going to be the fifth video of the hypersensitivity reactions. In the first video, we discussed about the definition, the types, type 1, 2, 3, 4 reactions in a very specific and to the point way. And we also discussed in the first video the very cause of the hypersensitivity reactions. And in the second video, we discussed the mechanism of the type 1 in a little bit detailed way. And in the third video, we discussed the mechanism of the type 2 hypersensitivity reactions. And in the fourth, we discussed the type 3. And here, we will discuss the mechanism of the type 4 hypersensitivity reactions. And uh, the type 4 hypersensitivity reactions are also known as cell mediated reactions. And one another name that is the delayed hypersensitivity reactions. Now, why these reactions are called the cell mediated reactions? Very simple answer because this reaction actually involves the cells, the T cells. And you might have got the concept in our last videos about the first, second and third, in which antibodies were involved to accomplish the hypersensitivity reactions. And in this fourth type of the hypersensitivity reactions, actually the cells are involved. And that's why these reactions are known as cell mediated reactions. And the second name, delete hypersensitivity reactions. Now, because this reaction actually consumes a lot of time, due to which this reaction is known as delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Actually, this reaction consumes about 72 hours. From 48 to 72 hours means it takes about that much time, due to which this reaction is known as delayed hypersensitivity reactions. Now, let's understand the mechanism. Actually, in these type reactions, T helper cells and the cytotoxic T cells are involved. So, let's know first of all about the TH and it means T helper cells. Then, we will talk about the cytotoxic T cells. So, let's start from the T helper cells. First of all, the antigen. If it wants to enter the body, it cannot enter directly. So, it needs the carrier protein to go from outside to inside the body. So, what will it do? It will just take the help of the carrier protein. By means of the carrier protein, it will enter the body and inside the body, the antigen presenting cells are waiting for this antigen. And this antigen will be then taken by this antigen presenting cell. First of all, it will do the internalization, then it will do the presentation. Now, what do we mean by the internalization and presentation? Simple. First of all, it will do the internalization means it, it will internalize the antigen inside it. Okay, means now the antigen is available inside the cell. After that, it will just take a part of this antigen and will do the presentation of that antigen on the surface of the cell. And this is the very reason because of which this cell is known as antigen presenting cell because it is presenting the antigen. First of all, it is doing the internalization, then it is presenting to the T helper cells. Now, these T helper cells will actually identify, will recognize these antigens. And as they recognize, they will bind with this antigen presenting cells. After they bind, these cells will release interleukin 12. Now, these interleukins, when they are released, they are responsible to stimulate the T helper cells. And these T helper cells will undergo the process of differentiation. And they will differentiate into type 1 T helper cells. And now, these type 1 helper T cells are actually going to release interleukin 2. And now, this interleukin will activate the macrophages. And you know about the macrophages. The destructive cells, they will just target the cells on which the antigens are present. And like this, they will destroy those tissues on those cells. And you guys know that in the hypersensitivity reactions, actually, the host cells tissues are actually undergoing the process of the destruction, including the antigens. Well, now let's come towards the cytotoxic T cells. Now, what is going to happen in this mechanism? In this mechanism, when these cells, cytotoxic T cells, if they find the antigen present on the surface of the cell. Now, this is the cell. Suppose here is the antigen available uh, for the cytotoxic T cells. If these cells find this antigen on the cells or on the tissues, and as they find, they will then release the vesicles. And inside that vesicles, there will be the perforins and the granzymes. Consider that cytotoxic T cells did an approach towards these cells. Now, cytotoxic T cells are here available. They will release the vesicle. These are our cytotoxic T cells. They will release the vesicle, and inside these vesicles are the perforins and the granzymes. These perforins will introduce the pores. You know, perforins, the name is suggesting it is going to do, introduce pores perforations like this it will introduce pores and now through these pores the granzymes will enter and as the granzymes these granzymes enter these will cause the destruction of these cells and like this the cytotoxic cells are also responsible to cause the destructions of the tissues 
and uh, one very common example is that in, in case of diabetes you guys might know that we have alpha cells and beta cells the beta cells responsible for the insulin production and during these type of the reactions those beta cells are actually destroyed by mean of these cytotoxic reactions and one very common example of the hypersensitivity reaction type 4 is the dermatitis and uh, this is all from my side regarding the hypersensitivity reactions and if still you have any kind of confusion feel free to ask us in the comment box we are here to help you guys and uh, thank you for watching.